MLS debut for Brendan Aronson, this 18-year-old homegrown player out of Medford, New Jersey. Has options. Aronson up the middle. Aronson shot. Go. Aronson the end. Shot. Go. But an absolute dime from Brendan Aronson and an absolute tease for all the European scouts that are watching this game at home. My earliest memories playing soccer was probably growing up playing with my brother and my dad. I think that just going out on the field and just spending time with my dad and my brother just kicking the ball around when we barely could really kick the ball but and also in being in front of the TV and watching early morning English Premier League games watching Liverpool you know their passion just grew um, from from playing uh, the game at, at, you know on the street soccer tennis in the basement um, watching the game um, I think they still watch the game like they were 12 years old you know you can't come in our house without seeing soccer on the television. We had like an unfinished basement and we would always just be playing like 1v1. We duct taped like, it was like electric tape to the walls and we made those goals. So we would just be down there for hours during the winter time and it would just get, be really competitive. Around seven or eight I realized like I had to, to get back involved with soccer because as I looked around and I saw what was going on in youth soccer, um, I didn't see enough teachers of the game um, and I was a little worried that um, I wanted my kids to, to understand the game and have the same passion that I had for the game. So uh, once I realized he was pretty coachable, um, I dove back in and, and that's really when I got back into the game of soccer. My dad was probably the biggest part by far because he took the time out of his day when he runs his own business, but he took time out of his entire day to spend time with me. I mean, we went out twice a day for two hours and that started from a, such a young age. And then having a younger brother like Paxton that challenges me every day and we're super competitive together. Juggling work and juggling us, he was always, he made us his number one priority and I think that's like a huge thing towards Brennan's success. That culture, that environment that's been created there, um, I mean Rusty's a no-nonsense type of guy uh, and you can see that reflected in his sons. I think parents have a, a huge role to play. I think too often we, we, we downplay that and we dismiss them. And we think that we know better than the parents and we don't always do that. I think if you can harness the parents' support because who spends more time with the boys? It's, it's the parents. I'm pretty sure that, uh, that Rusty played a, signific a significant role, but I'm, I'm pretty sure also if you ask him, he would downplay it. With how these two have developed, I think if it wasn't for um, them having each other, I, I just don't, I don't know if they'd be where they are. Gosh, back when we had what was called Union Juniors, it wasn't the full academy setup that we have now. They were just grabbing the, the top players in, in you know, Delaware, New Jersey, and, and Philadelphia area. And, and you just saw this kid who loved the game, uh, you know, had so much energy in every training session, was doing things while the ball was up to his knees, uh, uh, that you just didn't, you didn't see young players do. You know, he was always a little bit physically underdeveloped, but I can remember, and he had long hair, long sort of shaggy hair, so he always had his head up. So he was always turning his head, and the, the, the hair was long that you were drawn to it. So, I mean, I, obviously I recognized right away that there was a, a talent there, a potential, but he was so like, uh, he was younger for a start and he was underdeveloped so it was always challenging for him. His, his development wasn't you know this perfect you know uh, rise to the top there were some highs there were some lows uh, but he had to always use his brain uh, and that's something that he does better than uh, better than most. There's, there should always be a struggle there it shouldn't be seamless. Brendan's development was not was maybe on the down part but he always came back and kicked on. Every time he's, he's had a challenge, he's, he's met it head on, he has a way of adjusting, adapting, and, and uh, you know, raising his level. And he's done that uh, every step that he's taken. And I think he'll do that again now in Europe. That resilience will take him, it'll take, I don't know how far it'll take him, but it'll take him to the ends of his ability levels, let's put it that way. We're constantly, you know, weekly discussions of, of which kids are ready to, you know, train with the first team, which kids are ready to take the full step to be signed by the first team. Uh, and with Brendan, we knew he was ready uh, after, I don't want to say the games became easy for him, but you just knew that he could, he could see things like a first team player. 
uh, he, he had reached a point where defensively and offensively, uh, he had outgrown that and he needed to be pushed and, and we did that with, uh, with the first team. You could see right away that he had talent, you know, he was very good technically. Um, and uh, while he was shy and very quiet in the locker room, when he came out to training, uh, he, you know, you do your speaking with, uh, with soccer and he was able to do that and he, he fit right in. So I knew he had lots of potential. Of course, we regarded him to be um, one of our top talents and uh, it was uh, no, no question um, that we take him in the roster of the first team at that time. I think that when you make that step to a first team where you've been playing your entire life and you're looking down at the stadium from where you sign and you see that you were literally sitting right below where I was signing and it's just so exciting because I remember that was, the best, that was the best thing in my entire life that happened to me right there. So it was for sure something that was surprising, but I felt like I earned it. I think Brandon, more than all of them at this point really solidified the fact that we were a manufacturing plant that was starting to produce the goods. We, we've got a good system here with the union that puts them in a good position to, to succeed. Um, you know, with the style of play that we play, uh, when it all comes into place, he's been able to find a, a, a good role for himself. And, you know, like I said, off the field also, he's just a great kid and a very smart guy. Santos blocked by Jakovic. Second chance for Santos. Brendan Aronson scores! Watch Philadelphia now. Three attack, one defend numbers for Philly. Outright to Zivilko. Zivilko can have it. Cuts back inside, finishes! Aronson, neatly done. Lovely ball as well. Santos, three! You know, obviously it started once he became a professional and played first team minutes, but it exploded. Uh, under unique circumstances in Orlando, to be honest. You know, that was when it went from, yes, Brendan's a national team caliber player, um, to now it's, it's Brendan is a guy who dominates MLS games uh, while the world was watching. So, um, you know, as unique as it was, it was an opportunity. Uh, and like so many times in Brendan's career, uh, he stepped up in a big way. Uh, and, and more people talked about him in that tournament uh, in Orlando for the way he played and it was all warranted and deserving but as the head coach you're going oh man this is getting out of control you know with the the amount of eyes that are watching games and um, it was a big stepping stone for him uh, and, and he didn't shrink in that moment he got bigger um, and, and that's what great players do this year my goal was to make that leap and be a top player not only in my team but in the league and make huge steps on the field and score more and assist more this this season you can see that uh, he's not only scoring but assisting and, uh, and, and, and that makes him special for a 19, still 19 year old boy. He improved uh, very much his, in his finishing and uh, also the, the way he is playing forward and the, the inside of the game is getting better and better. It's clear and obvious um, that he needs to take that chance and uh, we are the club who is happy to assist him. Look, Brendan will be, I think, going to the best club that he could possibly go to. Um, so with Brendan going to Red Bull Salzburg, uh, being in the hands of Jesse Marsh, who is a former teammate of mine for seven years, the connections obviously that Ernst Tanner has there as well, um, we know he's in good hands and he's going to a club that in a way has a similar philosophy to us and is, is in the world right now one of the best clubs at taking players to an even higher level uh, and, and selling them to even bigger clubs. So I, I think this is a great stepping stone for, for Brendan. Uh, and I'm really, I, I just am so happy that this is the, the fit and the decision that was made. I perfectly know the environment, I am part of, I, I build it up. Not many people probably know that Salzburg is amongst the top developing and the top selling clubs over in Europe. Uh, we uh, want to establish a unique identity. Um, and we are on our way and I think Brendan is uh, the first one uh, who ran through our academy and we are now going to sell. Americans really love to follow their boys over in Europe and that's what we certainly will do as well. The sky's the limit. Uh, he, he has surprised me a little bit by how quickly he's got to where he's got to. And I know that uh, the type of upbringing he has, the, 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 with his family behind him, that he will continue to operate like that. He's absolutely just the same boy that walked in the door of the academy. He's got no ego. He just, he just, he's just desperate to succeed. So I don't see anything standing in his way. 
I, I'm super proud of him. I, I'm super proud of the kid that he is first. Um, I think those who know Brendan, uh, I, I, I often hear the same thing as he's the same old B. He's the same old Brendan. And for me, that, that makes me the proudest because the game's gonna end one day for Brendan. Um, and I hope it's not for a long time, but when the game ends, that's what carries you through life.